Hey guys, it is Wednesday. I hope you all are doing well. It's 12.30 p.m. and I've showered. It's really amazing. Um, a few things for you. First of all, thank you very much. It's been a very busy month so far. Our busiest month yet was October. We did about $385,000. This month it's looking like we're going to do about $420,000 which is a huge increase over anything we've ever done. So it's very busy. For the most part, we're handling it really well. Uh, along with that busyness, a few things tend to slip, which I'd like to talk about. Um, and it makes sense with all of the new people, especially in the kitchen at night. One order accuracy so far this month is pretty low. It's the lowest we've had. We're at about 88% order accuracy, and we're getting numerous call-ins on the phone. Um, that means we're giving away about 170 wrong orders a day, if that is correct. Um, so a few things with order accuracy. One, with all the new people in the kitchen, please make sure they know how to put the right sticker on the sandwich. To bump the right sticker and make sure the right sticker is going into the sandwich. Uh, I've fielded numerous calls and gotten a few emails about they ordered the right thing, the order was repeated, the correct sticker was on the sandwich, so for example, have a Chick-fil-A sandwich no pickle sticker on the sandwich, and they'd open it up and it'd be a Chick-fil-A sandwich with pickles and cheese. That issue, the kitchen is putting the wrong sticker on the sandwich. So if you're leading in the kitchen, please coach those new people at night. Make sure before their shift they know how to do the right sticker. Um, secondly, up front, we have new people. There's been a few times I've noticed we have brand new people who've learned to bag a little bit, but they're being left alone at the bagging station by leaders. A leader will walk away to do something, handle something, that person keeps bagging, and I can't imagine that they would be giving away all of the correct food. So please do not leave a new person alone at the bagging station until they've been approved to be there by themselves. So those two things, kitchen, right stickers on the sandwiches. Second thing, don't leave new people bagging food. Um, by themselves, just please be aware of that. Uh, third thing I would say is a tent of courteous has slipped some as well, which tends to happen when we're busy. So you all as leaders would just love to refocus the team on the basics. I know we talk a lot about coaching and capturing the team members. So really though, as we're this busy, it's just very important you connect with them at the beginning of your shift and let them know the expectations, get them pumped up, let them know where they're gonna be. Uh, one thing you can do is say, hey, I want you to focus on this tonight and then have them report to you afterwards how they think they did. Uh, one area I want to be very, 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 very aware of is who we're putting on window. Um, you guys saw, obviously, the really good compliment Alicia got from a customer. Uh, it was worrisome to me that that customer came through and said so they've had multiple bad experiences with our drive through staff. Uh, so please be very, very... Um, aware of who we're putting on window. Are we putting our best team member there to interact with the guest? Because that's 70% of our business and that interaction from the window person to the customer uh, goes a really long way. Anyway, uh, I know we've talked about it before, but just want to make sure that front lines, team member on guest experience and interaction is really on point and a level five experience versus a level four level three experience. Anyway, thank you guys very much. Uh, like I said, very, very busy month so far. Two big things I'd love to just refocus everyone around is order accuracy, because it doesn't matter how nice you are and how good the food is if you don't get the right food. And then secondly, attentive and courteous, especially in the drive through um, Thirdly, let me say one more thing. This is going to be like a five-minute video. I'm sorry. Um, communication between front and the back needs to improve, especially at night with all the new people in the kitchen. If you are bagging or leading the front, please be aware of how much food is prepared in the chute. Now, if we don't have eight to ten sandwiches in the chute and six orders of medium fries in the chute at all times, we are behind. If food is not there, we are behind. So please communicate with the kitchen staff and kitchen leadership that we need to get all hands on deck to get caught up on food. It's hard for the kitchen leaders to see that sometimes with all the new people. Secondly, please do it graciously and generously and uh, kindly and respectfully. The way we talk to each other is very important. Along those lines, one more thing. Handling customer complaints. We're getting numerous ones over the phone because of the order accuracy issues we're having. Please err on the side of generosity. Be overly generous, overly gracious. 
listen, apologize, solve the problem, thank them for their patience. Uh, it's a great opportunity to win their business back. If we handle those complaints well, we can actually build loyalty. Along with that, if we ever crash, if kitchen crashes and we're holding on food, we really can recover those customers pretty easily with the way we handle them and when we give them their food, just apologizing to them, thanking them for waiting patiently and assuring them their food is hot and fresh and just telling them about our commitment to food quality. Anyway, so no reason to show the customers our stress and frustration over the hold on food. Uh, the way we handle those situations can really build loyalty with the guests. Sorry this is a long video, I just feel like there's a lot that needs to be covered. Please lead well, engage the team. Leaders elevate the level, elevate the performance of all of those around them. So really focus on elevating the performance of the team around you. Be aware of how they are performing. Anyway, very thankful for you guys. Super, super thankful. Um, this is our first week without help at home, so it's been a little stressful. I'm trying to figure out how to manage my time. Um, it's going to be somewhat of a learning process, so thank you guys for being patient with me. Anyway, thank you very much. I'm very thankful for you. This was 6 minutes and 15 seconds. I'm sorry. Bye.